Hi guys, this is every, uh, yep. I'm Andy Williams from Every Time I Die. These are two of my, uh, guitars. <coughs> hey, what's up? This is Andy Williams from Every Time I Die. Um, I actually do play in a band that is popular. Alright, let's start from the top. Okay. No more pranks. Okay. Go. Go. Andy. No. Hold on. Right now. Nope. I play two of my signature model, Gibson Les Pauls, and what makes it um, a signature model is that I'm gonna I'm gonna put my signature on the back right there. So that's my signature model. It's a gold top. It used to be a there used to be a natural finish, and then some other dude painted over it to make it a gold top. I use a. Uh, JB pickups, Jordan Buckley pickups, from Seymour Duncan. That's the other guitar player of Every Time I Die. Something that's a little different about this guitar is that I put a lipstick pickup in the neck. Jimmy Page used these a lot in, uh, on like Led Zeppelin recordings and shit like that. And then this guy is the one I've had forever. Not forever, literally. They were only made in 1976. I was made in 1977, so that doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is a 76 Les Paul Custom. I mean, if you want, I'll write my name on it. That's mine. We'll just put this right here. Signature. Andy Williams signature model. Right there. Just like Mick Thompson, number seven. My signature. Gibson. Hey, what's up? I'm Jordan, proud member of the Buckley family, the Every Time I Die family, and the ESP family. Right now I'm going to tell you about my eclipses. When I find what I like, I stick with it. One thing I like is the eclipses. They're a lot lighter than they look, which is good for me, because I get tired easily on stage because of my deviated septum. It's hard to breathe, so when I run around, I like to have light guitars. It's not too light. It's uh, heavy enough to know it's there. Heavy enough to sound heavy. Fucking awesome. Eclipses. This one's got EMGs. They fucking wreck. Um, EMGs are your, your go-to if you just want to sound fucking heavy and awesome. Hey, let's go check out what kind of pedals and amps we use. Hey, Guitar World. Here's some amps. You notice anything in common? A lot of them say Marshall, because Marshall makes good amps. Keeping it simple. And by simple, I mean a lot of amps. Not simple at all. If you went extra not simple, you look at the ground. Yeah. Because there's pedals there. And he's going to tell you about those pedals. I'm going to go play Call of Duty. Well, here we go. Down here, the basic pedals that me and Jordan both use are an Ibanez Tube Screamer, always, a Noise Suppressor, always, and your typical tuner. This pedal became probably the most important pedal in my rig because I based the whole song off of it because it sounded that rad. A company called Death by Audio from New York City made this pedal and it's uh, basically your typical fuzz pedal but it has an octave range on it and it's just unreal. The thing sounds just stupid like when you put it through a JMP like for some reason this combination is like the coolest combination of all time. We've used this guy, the Fox Tone Machine. I think River uh, Cuomo uses this a lot for in Weezer. That's no bullshit. Pretty much it. I mean, we have a lot of friggin' pedals. This is a Fender Basement. It's no bullshit. That's a great amp. Marshall 800, great amp. Great. Marshall JMP, great amp. This is a Mesa Boogie Mark III. Metallica. Messed around with those a little bit. They're pretty cool. We haven't used it yet. Um, some of the guitars we've been using is a Les Paul Standard. It's been broken a few times. Um, 1956 VOS. VOS means Vintage of State. It's got P90s in it. 
pretty burly guitar. It sounds really good. Gretsch Chudak and Super Axe. Pretty rad guitar. Semi hollow body. Got some fucking effects in it. Pretty cool. Believe it or not, we've been using this a lot. It's a Dan Armstrong wood model. You might know them because of their acrylic guitars, the see through guys. Um, but they started making a wood one that's actually pretty cool. And they have like interchangeable pickups and stuff. And I've been using that a lot. Well, there you go. That's uh, Inside Every Time I Die's gear, guitar gear. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking it out. We have a new record coming out uh, on Epitaph Records this year. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah.